PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. Today I want to have a bit of a chat about if you're buying your first plasma cutter, what sort of machine should you buy and sort of what should you expect to pay for it. So I've had a look at three machines guys and they're all under 300 bucks. Two of them are uh, non-pilot arc and the other one is pilot arc. And like I say, they're all under 300 bucks so they're not very expensive and that's where I would start if I was starting out again, just plasma cutting, just learning. But it's not so much the machines guys, I reckon it's the torches that they're running. These three machines are running three different sorts of torches. And uh, you might be surprised, but the dearest bit of your plasma cutter is not buying your machine originally, it's running the bloody thing with the consumables. So what I would tend to do if I was going to learn to plasma cut all over again, I'd buy a machine that could got the cheapest torches to swap over in case you damage one, and the cheapest torches to run. Especially when you're learning, because you blow out a lot of tips, and you blow out a lot of electrodes, and you just bugger things up. It's just the natural way of things, you know. So uh, anyway guys, have a look at the three machines that I've suggested. And like I say, all under 300 bucks. And also guys, I'm not talking about the machines so much because my theory is, and I could be wrong, I was wrong in 1971 once, so I remember. <laughs> my theory is that all these machines are much the same, especially the Chinese stuff. I reckon they're almost all made in the same factory. They've just got a different stamp on the box and a different colour. Um, so basically, I don't think it makes much of a difference. If you buy it from somewhere reputable, you get a, normally get a year's warranty. If the thing doesn't work, just send the bloody thing back and get another one and get a refund. So it's no big deal. But um, just make sure you buy a machine, like I said, that is cheap to run. Anyway guys, I'll run you through the three that I've found. Let's get into it. By the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, drop me a note, come say good day, and come see me at peachtools.com. So the first one here guys is an Amico, it's under 300 bucks. It's auto voltage which is what you need, but it's not pilot arc either. But not a bad machine. Um, it runs a generic plasma torch, in other words you can plug a whole variety of different torches into it. And it runs cheaper consumables as well. Okay, right, guys, this is a torch like on that first machine I showed you. Like I say, these are about half of the cheapest I could find to run. So this is the second up and the cheapest to run, if you know what I'm saying. A uh, really good torch. Just keep in mind, guys, I'm only running 40 amp through it. The machine that I just showed you is 50 amp. So you're going to get a better cut. Okay, right, guys, we'll cut a lump of steel with it, eh? And see how we go. Grab me old magnetic ruler there, Pete. Hey, if you want to make one of these rulers, guys, check out the link up the top. I've got some links up there, really easy to make, really, really useful too. Righty-o, stop waffling, Pete, and let's see how this cuts. Really, really nice cut, guys. That, like I say, I'm only using 40 amp with this, so the machine is a 50 amp. That Anko machine I showed you is a 50 amp, so it's going to cut better than that. This is three millimeters, and it cuts through that like butter. Consumables for this sort of torch, I'd say roughly on average, if you buy them somewhere like Amazon, you're probably going to get 20 cutting tips and 20 electrodes, maybe 30 bucks, 35 bucks. So that's pretty good value, actually. Um, nice torch, and all in all. Guys, right, so if you're interested in, that, in the uh, machine that I've just shown you, it's not a pilot arc machine. So if you don't know what Pilot Arc is, I'll put a link up the top, check me out the videos, and it'll tell you the difference between Pilot Arc and non-Pilot Arc. Anyway guys, we'll go to the next machine now. Now this is only a 35 amp machine guys, but well, it's under 200 bucks, and I'm sure it'll cut alright. I'm using a 40 amp that cuts good, so this one should cut alright. It runs the cheapest consumables that I could find as well, and it's also got the cheapest replacement torch, PT31. Excellent. Now this machine guys is a Lotus or Lotus 35 amp machine and you're saying why are you showing us 35 amp machines Pete? Because this machine is running a PT31 torch which is this torch here which I think these torches are awesome and these are the cheapest torch you can buy to run on your plasma cutting machine. If you're cutting a lot of rough steel and that sort of stuff then I would suggest you use a machine with this sort of torch or at least get a machine that you can adapt it to this sort of torch. Anyway guys, we'll see what this can cut. Like I say, this machine is only 35 amp, but I've turned mine down to 35 amp, so you should get a pretty good idea of what she'll cut. Anyway, let's get into it.
See that guys, beautiful looking cut there. Um, yeah, I really like these torches, they're really, really good. But like I say, if you're gonna change your machine out for a torch like this, just make sure it fits in the uh, in the plugs and the sockets that you get on your machine, because some of them are different. Some of them run Panasonic, and some of them run like the generic ones that I'm running here. Anyway, this is really good cut, I like this. Very impressed. And like this machine is uh, under $200 at the moment, I think. So yeah, I'll put some links down below if you want to check out these machines. So this is a pilot arc machine under 300 bucks. That's pretty good value, I reckon, for ideal for a starter machine. You get all the accessories. You get a uh, pilot arc plasma torch and all the accessories to get you going. And it's cheap to run as well. Ideal first machine, but uh, it's not quite as cheap to run as a PT31 torch. So the last machine, guys, is the Morphin 50 amp, and this one's a pilot arc machine. Uh, that means that you don't have to touch it on the metal to get the thing to start. I prefer this if you're cutting through paint and other bits and pieces. I'll put some links up the top of the video and it'll show you how Pilot Art can cut through paint and that sort of stuff. But anyway, like I say, all of these are under $300, I think, at present. So, you yeah, know, it's pretty good value. Anyway, we'll uh, kick this one in the guts and see what happens. But this is Pilot Art, guys. You just pull the trigger and it comes out like that. So it comes out so you don't have to touch it on whatever you're cutting. You just pull the trigger and away you go. Anyway, guys, so we'll cut a lump off with this, eh? Beautiful. And like I say, Pilot Art is really cool, guys. And for under 300 bucks, it's a pretty good machine, I think, anyway. So, guys, another really good cut. I really like the Pilot Art because you can cut through paint and all sorts of other stuff in it. And this is the same torch as I showed you with the other one, guys. And the only difference between this one and what the uh, Amico is running is that this is a Pilot Art and the Amico wasn't. So, yeah, so you pay a little bit more for a Pilot Art machine, but I think it's worth it in the end. But it just depends what you want, guys. It just depends what you want to cut. If you're cutting a lot of dirty steel and that sort of thing, I'd go for Pilot Arc. If you're not cutting dirty steel, just go for a normal touch plasma cutter. You know, the touch ones where you just got to touch it and then start up like that. It's not a, really a problem. And the consumables for these are about the same. You get a set of 20 for about $35, I think. You know, it's no big deal. But they're not as cheap as the PT31. So, guys, that was my thoughts on it, you know, for what it's worth. Like I say, if I was starting again, I'd buy one of those three machines. Or any cheap machine, really. As long as it's got cheap consumables, it's cheap to run, and it's easy to learn how to drive. Anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Don't forget to come see me at peaktool.com. And we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Peaktools.com.